Next up on WTV, community members get insight on the school, this week's edition of Trivia, and a recap of sports events from the weekend. WTV's Daily Update starts now. Good morning, Red Hawk Nation. Today is Monday, February 11th, and I'm Mike Lover with today's daily update brought to you by Wingspan TV. With more than 70 schools in Frisco ISD, it can be hard for the district stakeholders to know everything about every school. But the Frisco ISD Insight Program gives district and community leaders a chance to get a behind-the-scenes look into the schools. And on Friday, the group is here on campus. WTV's Vivek Sundaraman has the details. Featuring district leaders and community members, the group spent most of the morning on campus Friday where they checked out the school's fine arts and athletic facilities. I think it's a good idea that they're coming out and looking at what we're actually doing because this is their Monday, that, that's their money they're funding to us and like to see how much we've grown and, and like that we're using our money for like a good use. So I think that's a good idea. I think it's good because we're making sure our money's being well spent and we're not just throwing away money, or at least they're trying to make sure that. So I think it'll be a really good thing for our school and our district. Campus Athletic Director Coach Chris Birch believes that Insight Tours also offer a closer look at what athletics is like on campus. Uh, you know, the, the Insight Tour is just a, a, a group of uh, parents and community members, and, and the, the, the hope that we um, want to accomplish is just a chance for them to have an inside view of what goes on uh, at Liberty High School uh, with athletics. Um, and not just that cursory view that you sometimes get if you just show up to a game, but what the locker rooms look like and what the turf room looks like and things that we do that it's not just about X's and O's and winning games, but there's life lessons that we're trying to teach through athletics here at uh, Liberty High School. Reporting for Wingspan TV, I'm Vivek Sundaraman. Donating usually comes in the form of things such as canned foods or money or clothes or even blood, but one graduate is brushing out a different way to help the community. WTV's Brent Salikas has the details. Hair We Share is an organization that allows you to donate cut hair to anyone around the United States who may have had a condition that results in hair loss and also allows you to track your donation on their website. Hair We Share is an organization that takes people's donated hair and turns it into a wig and then gives it to somebody who can't grow hair of their own. You know, there are a lot of ways you can donate, but for me this is, you know, something that it may not, you know, save lives or do something like that, but it does, you know, it can help. Um, it can give somebody confidence. It can make, help them not feel so different whenever they're sick. Um, it can just, like, really improve somebody's overall, you know, self-image. Wigs can take up to 10 weeks to make and must use hair that is at least 8 inches long. For more information on how you can donate, visit their website at www.hairweshare.org. Reporting for WTV, I'm Bryn Salakis. TJ Krilowitz tests students' knowledge on this week's edition of WTV Trivia. Hello and welcome to Wingspan Trivia. I'm your host, TJ Krilowitz, and today we're going to be testing students' knowledge on movies. Um, uh, National Treasures. Mm. Alright, so... I feel like I should know one, but I don't. <laughs> no. Wait, wait, wait. Does Luke Cage count? Is it Black Panther? Black Panther. Black Panther. I want to say the, the Spider-Man universe. Probably Black Panther. I would say like 12 or 10. Okay. 12. 12. Like, is there six? <laughs> I want to say 16, but it might be 14. Say like 16. Infinity, Avengers Infinity. Oh. Wait, um, Black Panther and Doctor Who? Iron Man, Iron Man 2, and Iron Man 3. I can do that. So we got Black Panther, Infinity War, and Iron Man 3. Uh, Avengers. <laughs> Captain America. 
and the Hulk movie. Okay, well, like, is there like two different ones? Yeah. Like Marvel, and there's like a. Couple yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah. Iron Man. Okay. That's right, Craig. Mm -hmm. I, I know that's gotta be one. <laughs> um. If I knew, I would tell you the rest, but I really don't. Reporting for WTV, this is TJ Curlis. WTV Sports brings you a recap of this weekend's athletic events. A busy weekend for Red Hawk Sports was headlined by the District 85A wrestling tournament. On the boys' side, the team had five first place finishers in their respective weight classes. Seniors Precious Essien, Austin Widener, and Diego Lorenzo, junior Armando Vasquez, and sophomore Jax Brown. Despite falling to Centennial and claiming second place, the Red Hawks had eight wrestlers notch a top four finish and will advance to the regional tournament. On the girls' side, it was a perfect 9 for 9 as the entire team qualified for the regional tournament. Leading the way were seniors Savannah West and Ashley Cook, as well as juniors Karina Kiros and Princess Abuchinum, who all notched first place in their respective weight classes. On the court, boys basketball traveled to Lebanon Trail to take on the Trailblazers. After dominating the whole game, the Red Hawks came out on top 75 to 56. The win marks 10 in a row as the team heads into their final district game against Heritage on Tuesday in the next. On the field, boys soccer took on third in district Lone Star. Despite a close match, the team fell to the Rangers 2-1. On the girls side, the team took on Lone Star as well, looking to advance up the district ranks. A flurry of goals, including two from freshman Kennedy Clounts, helped give the Red Hawks the 5-1 victory. Seniors Alyssa Killinger, Olivia Barth, and sophomore Allie White notched the other three goals. Girls basketball competes in the opening round of playoffs tonight. Their opponent, McKinney North, finished third place in District 10 5A with an 11 and 19 overall record. The action tips off at McKinney High School at 7 p.m. For Wingspan TV, I'm Carter Brock. WTV's Isabella Santiago sits down with Robbie Gao and Vaishnavi Anna. <laughs> So what was your first date? Olive Garden. <laughs> I remember going to pick her up, and I think it was like 6.30 or so. Uh -huh. I picked her up, and I you know, met her mom. I mean, I'd met them in the past, but I said hi to her mom and dad. And we left, and her parents texted her, and they were like, be home by 7.30. <laughs> and then we got to Olive Garden, and they texted her, why does your phone only have, what, 19%? <laughs> Wow. And then I wanted to things take. Things have changed. Yeah, things have changed. <laughs> yeah. And then I wanted to take her after Olive Garden to like the top of a parking garage to show her like a view of like Frisco and everything. And her parents like texted her like that store is closed. <laughs> like why would you be going there? Yeah, so, so we ended up we ended up going to the top of the Legacy West oh, yeah, parking garage. And then I dropped her off at home at 7:30. <laughs> For the rest of today's episode, please visit LibertyWingspan.com. If you're looking for more from Wingspan, you can follow us at Liberty Wingspan on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, or visit our award-winning website, LibertyWingspan.com. Please stay tuned for today's announcements. NHS applications are now available for current sophomores and juniors. Please see Ms. Bennett in room C216 or Ms. Duckworth in room C225 if you're interested. All applications are due by 4.30 p.m. on Wednesday, February 27th. Wingspan and WTV staff applications are now available in room C102. ISM applications are now available. If you're interested, please scan the QR code on screen. Applications are due on March 3rd. That's it for today's daily update. This is Wade Glover for Wingspan TV.